from the University of Hawaii Waikea Agricultural Experiment Station located near Hilo, Hawaii. Today, I'm going to discuss growing ginger in rollout plastic tanks. First, we'll need a fairly level surface for the tanks. Fine cinders were spread out. They're fairly easy to level. There are lots of cinders on this island. It's a volcanic island. Then we roll out the plastic. This will become the plastic tank. The plastic was permalon film from Reef Industries. It was black on one side, white on the other. It's fairly thick. It's 20 mils thick, and the width is 1.26 meters. Here is one tank rolled out and cinder beds for two more tanks. Upside down nursery trays were placed in the middle of the tanks. They are 6 centimeters high. 12.7 centimeter high propagation flats rested on the nursery trays. Notice the perforated bottoms of the propagation flats and nursery trays. This will allow the roots to grow to the bottom of the tank. The nutrient solution depth was 1 to 2 centimeters in the propagation flats at planting time. The nutrient solution level was dropped below the propagation flats after the roots had established. The sides of the tank were held upright by these concrete blocks. The tank width was then about 45 centimeters. Growing medium was mixed up before it was placed in the propagation flats. Two mixtures of perlite and sunshine number no. 4 growing medium and one mixture of perlite and sphagnum moss were prepared. The flats on the left were filled with the perlite sphagnum moss mixture. The flats in the middle were filled with the perlite and sunshine 4 mixture and the flats on the right were not filled yet. In an effort to provide extra aeration to the roots and also to save some growing medium, upside down plastic cell packs which consisted of 12 cells of 200 cc each were placed in each propagation flat. A drip irrigation line was placed on top of the trays and daily watering was controlled by a timer. A simple float indicator provided the guidance to change the watering time as needed throughout the crop. The goal was to maintain about a 5 cm depth of solution, which is about 1 cm below the top of the upside down nursery tray. Hydroponic fertilizer stock solutions were added weekly to maintain an EC range of 1.5 to 2.5 ms. Hydro Gardens 81536 hydroponic fertilizer plus magnesium sulfate were placed in stock solution A and calcium nitrate was placed in stock solution B and these were fed to drip irrigation lines which extended the length of the tank. In future trials we simplified this by just injecting the hydroponic fertilizer into the irrigation line. Here is a schematic that summarizes the growing methodology. 50 gram seed pieces were planted on May 29 and 30th. We compared planting two and three seed pieces per flat in this trial. This picture was taken about six weeks after planting and the ginger is growing. After a few more weeks, the ginger growth has really picked up. In the following three months, the ginger growth really took off. The foliage is nice and lush at this point. Here is another view of the crop. For normal field culture, the plants would have been hilled several times by this stage to encourage more vertical growth with longer and more plump hands of ginger rhizomes. But this crop was not hilled, resulting in more knobby hands. But it was acceptable because these rhizomes were intended to be used as seed ginger. After another month, the foliage is still pretty lush. Well, here it is, a day before Christmas, and the plants are starting to look a little bit weathered. Here is another view of the ginger. On January 9th, we can see some dry foliage. Notice the amount of dry foliage in the tank on the right. There's plenty of rhizome growth here. It's time to harvest. The foliage has all been removed prior to harvest. Individual propagation flats are collected from the tanks and then tipped upside down. The propagation flat is removed and what do we have here? Oh yeah, cell packs were placed in the propagation flats to save growing medium and add aeration. The cell packs were removed. The growing medium was washed away with a stream of water. And then, almost magically, some fresh, clean ginger rhizomes appear. 
Here's the payoff from all of this hard work. Clean ginger seed rhizomes that can be planted for this upcoming crop. There were three growing medium treatments in this experiment. The two perlite sunshine number four treatments produced about 2.9 kilograms per flat. However, the perlite sphagnum moss treatment only yielded 1.33 kilograms per flat. You might as well only plant two seed pieces per flat because there was no advantage to planting a third seed piece. Before proceeding to the next experiment, it's time to take a deep breath and look up to the sky and say, wow, this is beautiful. This is Hawaii. Mauna Kea has a nice blanket of snow. Okay, back to growing ginger. We're going to talk about growing ginger in slings, which are placed in the rollout plastic tanks. We have the same rollout tanks, but instead of propagation flats, there are slings made of weed control fabric, which are eight feet long and hold the growing medium. Here is a close-up of a sling. Notice the loop. At harvest time, two pipes will be placed through the loops of each sling so that the sling may easily be carried by two people. If needed, a clip may be used to hold the sling to the tank. There is an irrigation line on top of the growing medium. And stock solutions A and B are injected into the irrigation water. This experiment also has a treatment where ginger is growing in large pots which are held by the rollout tanks. Here is a close-up of the pot treatment. Here on October 15th, the ginger is growing very nicely. It looks like we're going to have a pretty good crop of ginger. On December 15th, the foliage was removed. It was a little bit early to terminate the harvest, and the yield may have been lowered slightly. But I was scheduled to retire at the end of the year, and you got to get things done before you go. Now here's the really neat thing about this method. Pipes are placed through the loops of the sling, and two people carry the sling to the washing station. Then it is tipped over, and guess what? You just harvested the ginger. By the way, this particular sling was made with a black and white film rather than the weed control fabric shown earlier. Then the growing medium was washed away, and there was an average of 32 pounds of ginger on each sling. That's four pounds per linear foot, or about six kilograms per meter of roll. Here's another view of the ginger. It will be used as clean ginger seed for the upcoming season. Since these methods need some improvement, I'm going to give a homework assignment. First, find a better way to hold the sides of the tank up rather than the concrete blocks. Second, find ways to reduce the amount of growing medium needed. Third, try growing other root type crops such as potatoes, taro, beets, and so on with these methods. Now it's time for me to roll on out of here. But first, let me say, aloha. Mm -hmm.